Hello and welcome to the Renault Traffic Conversion Part 3 and today I'm going to do a job I've been putting off for a wee while but I've also been very busy at my work so I've finally gotten round to doing this and that's putting the windows in the side panels, the side door and the side panel of the van So I've got the side window here which I got off eBay and I've got my jigsaw, metal cutting blades and I've got the trim and the glue to go round the window so I've got to get these panels off here and I'll drill these little welds out here. I've done one already. Uh, I've done it with a small pilot drill, then I'll do it with a bigger drill. It doesn't matter if I drill through that because it's going to be hidden with the trim. Uh, I'll get these off and then you drill a series of holes around here to get a template. And then I'll just draw a line around the outside and then cut it all out with a jigsaw. that's them off and that's the kind of thing you don't see in the videos you know the struggle to get them off but that's them off now so I'm going to drill holes all the way around here and then draw a line on the outside of the window and then cut it out with the jigsaw So I'm going to drill a pilot hole for the jigsaw blade now and I'll just use this drill bit and I'll just keep it away from these holes slightly and That's big enough to get the jigsaw blade into and then I'll cut right round all these holes What I will say is that always use a, a new or newish blade and replace it every now and again uh, and let the jigsaw do the work and you know that the blade's going blunt because you have to really push the jigsaw and also don't uh, use it running too fast because it just hots up too much. Bit of a bar all the way around the metal here, so I'll just rub it down with a file. I'll put a little bit of primer right around the edge now, just to protect the, the bare metal. So I'm ready to put the rubber trim on now. I've got a rubber mallet as well just to get it pushed in and uh, hopefully it'll go in okay. Holes are hidden. There you go, that's it on nice and neat. 
but that was actually worse than cutting the metal out because uh, the two skins in parts they're quite far apart and you've, you've either got to tap them home with a hammer a little bit or sort of squash them in and spread this out and hammer it on but it was quite tricky but I've got there and it fits nice and snug and now the tricky bit getting the mastic on it and it's got a little uh, sort of triangular bit cut out here and I've watched, <laughs> I've watched videos on this and some people put it on really easily but we'll just see how it goes maybe trial or error caught already it comes Well that seems to be it. <laughs> I can't sort of squash it enough. And there's a nice gap along the bottom here. I've got these little bits of PVC just to wedge in there. But it looks spot on, I'm quite pleased. So we'll just leave it for the rest of the day now. Incidentally, one of these isn't enough to do one window, you need two of them. So I've had to order two more before I go ahead and do the other window. It's a bit of a blow, but I'll just have to wait and them come in. But in the meantime, I've got some of this uh, sort of rubber insulation material and it's sticky back. And I'm going to line out all the flat panels on the inside of the van. Um, insulation isn't too important with this van because it's just going to be used as a day van. So this will probably suffice. And this combined with the carpet over the top should, uh, should be enough to, to insulate it. Well, that's quite easy to use. That's all the adhesive sound insulation in now. That's it on the back doors, on the sides, on the bottom of the sides, on the roof, and down on the other sides as well. But I'm not going to put it into the door panel here and the two rear door panels because I'm just going to carpet right over the top of them and I think I've got a fair bit of insulation in it anyway as I say, it's just a day van it's not an out and out camper well it's jubilee weekend and what better thing to do than work on the van um, I've still got the second window to, to cut out, cut the aperture out for the, the glass but the mastic's not coming until Monday so I'll have to cover that up but I really need to get on with it. So also I'm going to start and do the carpeting on the inside. So here we go. See here that there's quite a gap between the two surfaces of metal and there's a like a mastic in between it so on the other side I had to squeeze those together because the plastic trim was really tight but the trim that I've got for this 
is a lot more spread out and goes on this quite easily which is a lot better but the thing is I had to buy this separate from the glass but the other trim I got actually with the glass and to be honest it's not as good So a little quick measure of it and allowing allowing enough material to come to about here and off the bottom as well so we're looking at now that we've gone back to Imperial <laughs> we're looking at 40 inches by at least 20 so we'll probably make it about 22 40 by 22 The material's 80 inches wide, so I can just cut this right in half and I've got two panels for each wheel arch. Try not to cut the material below. <laughs> there you go, so I just need to spray this with glue and also spray the wheel arch with glue. There you go, that's basically it. So now we're just sort of trim off and I'll trim it to maybe 20 millimetres in from the edge of the panel to overlap, you know, the floor vinyl and also overlap the carpet over the top bit here. So there you go, that's it all neatly done and it pushes in really well into here being a uh, four way stretch and you just push it in with your finger and it just conforms to the grooves beautifully and then I've got a little overlap all the way around here. So that's that one done, so I'm going to get on to this one and then get on to this wall and I'll get this wall done right up to here before I put the window in and then I can put the trim onto it as well so we'll get on with that. So the next bit is uh, putting this large part on this side of the van. Now it's quite tricky because simply because of the size of it. But the th I think the way I'm going to tackle it is I'm going to I'm going to stick it along the top and then lift it up and spray the bits underneath and then put it down as I go. But I'm not going to hang about. I'm going to get on with it. We'll do this end first. <laughs> it's sticking to my hair. Bye. 
burning my fingers. And then onto this side. Well that's that side done and I'm not going to pretend it's easy because it's no and uh, I don't think there's any definitive way of doing it but uh, I've got it all in, I've got it quite neat and I'm quite happy so now I'm going to put this trim in the window and seal that window up for the night because my glue still isn't here There, that's a little bit on the back just to finish that off and I think what I've decided for the roof is to basically carpet it the same as the walls the reason I'm putting carpet on the roof is because I, I'm not going to put any electrics in this van I'm just going to retain the original light fittings maybe put LED lights in them but uh, so to save time and money um, I think carpet will suffice I can't see the point of uh, lining it in plywood and it's it's quite tricky to do and then carpeting over the top of that anyway so I'm just going to put carpet over the top of the sound deadening This is not going to be easy. <laughs> I just have to do it bit by bit. Here it goes. It's the wrong way around for a start. Here me. These are putting in my head. Good. Stick. Dear me, <laughs> so I'll keep working at it and eventually make my way over the whole of the roof. That's the roof done, it's all carpeted and I've just got a little bit to trim at the front then I'm going to get onto this wall but uh, as I've been working on this the DPD man arrived and I've got the mastic for the window so he's come a bit earlier and uh, that's actually good service from uh, Just Campers and I've actually bought quite a lot of the material of Just Campers for, the, for this job so I'm just going to get on with that because uh, the afternoon's getting on and I quite fancy a beer It doesn't have to be pretty as long as it sits higher than the, the bead round about the opening. So I'm going to get the glass and get it straight on.
good firm press. Deep one to hold it. But that's basically it. I'll leave this overnight now. Uh, I might do a couple of bits more in the van just to, to finish off the carpet. Um, and then go for a beer.